The world is submerged and the remaining lands are barren and inhospitable. Humanity has taken refuge in three gigantic underwater cities on the ocean floor. Those expelled from the city struggle to survive in some scorched wastelands. Below their feet, the mega cities survive on trade through a constant flow of containers loaded with goods. Moved innocents have risen against the cities at the command of lightning fast ships, skilled pilots steal precious cargo and deliver the contents to the banished. Some are more successful than others. Alright, not sure what all I'm getting into here, but this is Swordship, and I just watched the little trailer before downloading this demo. It seemed very fast-paced and action-y, and I've definitely been liking a lot of games that are a lot more based on movement and flow than just, like, the action potential, and this, seemingly, maybe you don't have very many offensive tactics you really are just trying to dodge and survive level to level spawn to that real quick and here new game issue more points for each energy cell collected hmm. is this meant to be played with controller Okay. City dash zero one line zero one. What? Huh? Load up containers in swordship. Only one container can be stored at a time. Huh? Looks like I collected something there. Wait, what? Deposit containers on delivery points. Delivered containers provide end of level bonuses. Okay, that's an interesting way to do the tutorial. It's showing me, then telling me. choose where stuff's going to land. There's another container, okay. Ooh, uh, proximity. Oh, I only have some, oh, okay, okay. Make them hit each other though? Okay, so far so intense. Keep them for extra lives and upgrades. Donate stolen 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 containers, stolen containers to the banished for more score. The choice is yours. Even split. These are the containers you kept for yourself. Open one to equip the upgrades it contains. Delivery dive. Sorcerer can dive on a delivery point. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Containers. make them hit each other. I dive and go under 
hear that though. start over from the beginning. Sword ship variant decoy spawn a decoy to attract an fire. If I finish a level with a container, it still gives it to me? Okay. Collecting the container when loaded with another generates a screen light. all the enemies on screen. Oh, I went back into it. Oh. Killed by it coming up? Oh no. Oh, and I actually have to make enough points in the progression to get the next piece, or it just doesn't have that next one yet. Ooh. One more time, let's just mess with the uh, decoy. If I run in 
into it, I blow up. Okay. Okay, let's see if I can pass the second level. Should have dived. Damn it. Oh, I was just short of the upgrade. Well, damn. Oh. But heck yeah. That was a lot of fun. That was short and sweet. Oh, that can get really fast placed really fast. Um, I enjoyed playing that with the controller a bit, a little bit more. So, Whew. that was that was tough though. Or I'm just bad. So, you know, here we go. Just trying out some new stuff. As always, I plan to hopefully maybe start doing some more kind of playthroughs, and then depending on what me and my friends get into doing some compilations and stuff again so yeah we'll just keep trying out stuff i do really like just trying out new things and demos really help me like try out something pretty quick i sometimes don't really dive all the way into and through a lot of games nowadays so i like kind of just showing off new stuff so thanks everyone for being here and we will catch y'all in the next one later later